So red teaming is a cyber attack simulation and it uses multiple exploit methods that we see typically in the wild with our customers, whether that's uh, physical exploitation, electronic exploitation, or social engineering. Red team is really important because you probably have made significant investment from an information security perspective, whether that's technology um, or process, and um, you really won't know if that's working until you do an end-to-end -end test. Uh, it's a little bit like doing a fire drill, for example. You know, you might spend heaps of um, time and investment on, on a fire suppression system and hard hats and clipboards and um, every month you might test that that works. So why not do the same for information security? Red teaming starts with a really in-depth consultation with our customer. We agree the objectives that are in scope and we agree what typical exploitation methods we might look to exploit, whether that's physical, social engineering, or electronic. The consultant would then undergo a reconnaissance phase where they do a lot of research both online and perhaps even also on the physical premises of the customer and just looking for gaps in process that we could later exploit. So there are many techniques that you can employ um, that again are designed really to simulate a real world cyber attack. You might be for example sending users phishing emails which is quite typical um, at the moment with, with cyber attackers um, trying to and send you dodgy links that you might click. And even so far as with the physical security side of things, and trying to gain access to your office premises as a visitor, for example, or a contractor, or even diving through the dumpster for intellectual property. So our consultants are really passionate about this and they're really great at thinking outside the box. Typically, for example, within your um, office, you might have a secure area where you store your backup tapes or your, your, your critical information. And you probably have a lock on the door, but um, Sometimes our consultants can often just squeeze through the gap in the ceiling. So the biggest weakness that we see with our customers every day is all around people and process. It's, um, it's user awareness. Uh, I think if you instill a really good culture of awareness around information security within your organization, you're going to be one step ahead. Or have a really strong pedigree in um, electronic security testing and we also dedicate 20% of our time to industry research and lately that's been very focused on the physical side of things and when you combine our pedigree with electronic security testing and with some of the techniques that we can use on the physical and social engineering side of things, we are successful at this every single time we try and achieve it with our customers.